Everybody wants to become a better sports better. Everybody does. Look around the internet. Google how to become a better sports better. You're going to see apps, articles, tools. Shout out Odds Jam. Get that one. But what people don't really tell you is sometimes you don't need to do anything. Sometimes you just need to stop making certain mistakes that cost you money. What are these mistakes? There's three main ones that if you stop doing right now, you'll become a better sports better. It's crazy to think that, but it's true. I do it myself every single day. The first mistake most new sports bettors make, they bet drunk. I'm, I'm not drunk, all right? I just have a speech impediment. Let me paint the picture for you. You're out at the bar. You and your buddies are getting fired up. You've had six to 12 beers responsibly and you decide hey it's time to gamble next thing you know you got your phone out you can barely see it but somehow you managed to place 15 parlays on that night's action even though you haven't really looked at the slate at all guess what you wake up the next day and you wonder why you blew up your account there's no money and you can't even bet this next day here's the thing here's what i like to do if i know i'm gonna go out i just put the bets in before i leave but here's the thing you gotta be smart about it you got to know you after you've had a couple drinks. <laughs> what you want to do is have action for every single hour of the night. So get, get money down on the early games. Also, get money down on the late games. That way you're covered. You're not going to be sitting there drinking all night and thinking, oh, I need action on this game. You already have action, action you've actually thought about. That'll save you so much money, it's not even funny. The second thing you can do Stop chasing losses. It happens to all of us. Look, this is a tough one. This is a real tough one, actually. You have the best bet of all time. We're talking great. We're talking no way this thing can lose. No chance at all. Halftime, your guy, let's say it's Kobe White, and the total's 10 and a half points. And at halftime, he has nine points. There's no chance this loses, right? Well, then he doesn't take another shot for the rest of the game, and now you lost. But there's another game after it. But the thing is, you didn't like this game. You actually hated it before, and you weren't even going to bet it at all. So now, since you lost and you're mad and you're rage betting now, you decide to bet twice as much as you bet on the first bet that you love, the greatest bet of all time, and now you bet twice as much on the second game. Guess what happens? That bet always loses. Both Any bet you make on that last game always lose. You never come back like that. You only dig the hole deeper. So what I recommend is learn how to go to bet a loser. Happens all the time. I do it all the time. You take your best shot, you swing, you miss, and then you just go to bed, you wake up, and live to fight another day. The third mistake you have to avoid is failing to line shop. I hear it all the time. I'm a DraftKings guy. Like, no, 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 no. You're a sports better. If you live in a state where there's multiple books all over the place, get an account at every single book there is because I guarantee you they all set lines independently and sometimes some are higher and while some are lower. You always want to get the best line possible. That's There's no questions asked about that. You have to do it. Let's say you're sitting at a bar and you have Jeffrey Springs over five and a half strikeouts, minus 110. Then you go to watch the game. You're sitting right next to a guy who bet the same thing at the same time as you did, except he got over five and a half plus 120. Why would you not want to have the plus 120? And the funny part is it's available to you just like it is to him. So make a habit out of line shopping. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. You could just use the screen at Odds Jam. It's the easiest thing in the world to use. Guys, I really hope this helps. If you want more tips like this, subscribe to this channel. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. It'll take you two seconds to do it. And if you want actual bets, why not just watch my Slops Lock shows every single day of the week? I don't think it could be any easier.